trolls are coming. They think us weak. They mean to burn our homes and farmland. But we are not afraid to fight them. We will crush their assault and drive them all the way back to Death Plateau. This wall has never... Look out! Smash Here they come! this. could use a few more like you. <laughs> uh oh! I'm bleeding! Oh no, it's just some mud. <laughs> I see you have everything under control. I don't think we'd have survived that without you two. I can't claim all the credit. I was unconscious. But we still have work to do. My sincerest apologies, Major. But I have urgent business in Draenor. See you around. Look, we aren't even close to ready for another assault. Please, head south into the town. Look for anything you can do to help with the war effort. I don't think we'd have survived that without you two. I can't claim all the credit. I was unconscious. 
but we still have work to do. My sincerest apologies, Major, but I have urgent business in Draenor. See you around. Look, we aren't even close to ready for another assault. Please, head south into the town. Look for anything you can do to help with the war effort. I'm gonna kill it! You don't survive against trolls for long without a helmet! And without gloves I can't grip onto my sword in the freezing mountains! Oh, that would be great! If you can get me a bronze helm and a pair of leather gloves, I'll be killing trolls in no time! Can you help? I can't clear the debris from this side. Oh, thanks for the help. We were really in a jam there. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm fine. It'll take more than a few trolls causing a cave-in to take me down. I need to get back to camp. Here, take this army axe as thanks. It's a special tool made by the dwarves.
surprised how much the people of Burthorpe rely on crafted goods. Want to give it a try? You'd be surprised how much the people of Burthorpe militia need to be kept. You're back! Those trolls aren't getting any deader with me just standing here. You got my equipment! This is great! Hit me! See if this actually protects me. Didn't feel a thing. Thank you. For some reason, they gave me this chisel when I signed up, but it's no use to me. You should take it. Thanks for everything. South, but their lives aren't any easier. Whatever food we can supply is sent north to fuel the Berthorpe army. I can't hunt or cook. I can't provide them with what they need. Oh, thank you. This area is rich with wildlife and the soil is fertile. But the other adventurers are too busy taking care of themselves. If you could gather some food to feed these people, I'm sure they'd be eternally grateful for your selfless act of kindness. Too hungry to speak. Too hungry... To speak. Too hungry. To speak. Too hungry. We don't have an abundance of farmland in these parts, so we fish a supplement with fresh fish. Uh, care to learn how? Fishing is more than a method of gathering food. It's more than a profession. It's a way of life. Fish make good eating, especially when you need to recover after a battle.
goodness! Tasty shellfish! Such luxury! I hope it's well cooked. Goodness! Tasty shell. Goodness! Tasty sh Too hungry to spoon. For work. Just a little job I need doing. See, there's a merchant upstairs I need something lifting from. I do it myself, but I'm more into the legitimate document business these days. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Look, he's not a very nice bloke, right? He's Rolo the Stout. And he's currently buying up all the food in the area on the cheap and selling it to the refugees at a huge markup. Just listen, will ya? All I need is his seal. I've a forged letter right here that says he's releasing all the food to the refugees for free. If I can get his personal seal, then I can get his associates to open the stockpiles to the people of the town. You in or not? Well, Rollo isn't called the Stout because he likes to drink the stuff. He's a real pig. Every day, he orders some fancy pie from the cook here. Usually something that will cost a lot to make. So, what we'll do is make up a pie that will put him out of commission for some time. Not poison poison, just something that will put him in the infirmary for a while. Nah, he has it in a chest up there by his table in case he needs to stamp any documents. If he's rushed off to hawk his guts out, I don't think his first priority will be taking it with him. Fish and bait there. You can get wheat from the field to the 
south of there, just over the bridge. A couple of troll bodies on the way to the field. They've been left for a while. They have a lot of nagging. Fish and bait around. Upstairs, there is a hopper. Put the wheat in the hopper and put the fish and bait on top. Once you've done that, use the lever nearby and put it all in the mill. Then it'll all get mashed up. Now go back downstairs and use your pot to gather up the flour and bring it to me. Well, what do you want to know? Or scammed anyone that wasn't trying to scam me. I mean, I did some work back in the day, making sure people got some money that was owed them from people who wouldn't give it any other way. That's what gets me about these merchants. They're gouging us for every coin we've got because they can profit off our misery. I may be a little shady, but at least I have standards. Look, go and talk to them and you'll find out. Rolo is just a tip of a flabby iceberg. Just have a word with his friend Keppel, or any of the merchants wandering around. Then you'll see what we're up against. OK, see you about. Step aside, you lowborn oaf. I have no idea, some hero, I would guess. Hush! I have far too much money to listen to the idle prattle of menials. Be gone! Step aside, you lowborn oaf! Hello! Hello! What kind of low-class greeting is this? No matter. Clearly we move in very different social circles. Salutations, sir. I called you a sir. Why? What of it? I'm Winston Keppel, purveyor of pretty much everything. I came here with my friends and colleagues from Felidor to take advantage of this captive market that we have right here. And let me tell you, business has never been better. I mean that with the trolls attacking, I've been able to peddle all kinds of goods to these rubes with an astonishing markup. Food, clothing, cake tins, fishing supplies, you name it, I'm making a profit on it. <laughs> what about it? If the trolls wipe this place out, the white knights and some scruffy tramps with swords calling themselves heroes will take care of it. And then the survivors and new settlers will need even more supplies to reclaim the land. Oh, pipe down! I didn't expect a commoner like you to understand the ways of high finance. I'm glad you like it. It is, theoretically, very expensive. Well, I had it made from the finest materials purchased from businesses that I was a partner in, so I got a good discount. Then I had the finest seamstresses in Valador put out of work and paid them a pittance to make it for me before I would let them seek employment elsewhere. So, in the end, I have a very wonderful set of clothes with little or no cost to myself. Yes, it is quite jaw-droppingly good, isn't it? Yeah, very well. It was nice talking to you.
Jabatai! This is intolerable. I already have plenty to drink, so why would they send a serving lass up to see me without my food? Such impertinence! Inform the head of this establishment that I want you to be dismissed immediately! What's that? You won't do it? The guard, do you not know who you're dealing with, whelp? I'll turn your eyes! By the gods, you're a fiery one! Never have I been so insulted by a lowly servant! What?! I don't... Dash it all, you scoundrel! Why didn't you tell me it didn't work here? Fetch the head of this establishment! I will have your job for embarrassing me! Addressing me? Oh dear, this will never do. I was right, this will never do. I mean, look at yourself. How, by any stretch of the imagination, am I supposed to converse with one such as yourself? Oh, you are so lower class. I've become used to dealing with better people than you since I became fabulously wealthy. Thank goodness I have my pomanda of expensive spices. Your odor was beginning to make me feel light-headed. I'm sorry. I can't hear it when poor people are upset. Toodle-pip. My spleen! So much pain!
also need a filter pipe or something pretty nasty. What we need first is a real crayfish. I want you to go and get one buried in a field. Just shove it right into the dirt and then let it <laughs> ripen for a bit. Just use either the flax field, wheat field or the animal pen for the job. The flax field is closest. It's in the northwest of here, near the master farmer's shop and the well. And don't forget, when you are done, you should come and see me and show me your work. But first, let me take care of that flower for you. <laughs> OK, see you about. The food! So tasty! How are the fish biting? Oh, Sarah Dovin! That thing stinks! Just looking at it makes me want to vomit. Perfect. Only one thing left. To give the pie a little more body, we'll add a potato. I want you to go and get a raw potato and shove it down a kebit hole. Kebit burrows are full of hair and droppings and all other kinds of nasty waste. So if you just shove it in there and pull it out, it'll be okay. Well, I say okay. Okay, see you about. The war effort in Burthorpe takes a lot of food. With the farming skill, you'll be able to grow crops to help out. By farming, you can grow your own plants. You'll start with simple stuff, like potatoes, but if you stick at it, you'll even be able to grow trees and the like. Farming's a slow-paced skill. If you want something that only needs checking on occasionally, it'll suit you down to the ground. By farming, you can grow your own plants. You'll start with simple stuff, like potatoes, but farming's a slow
I don't want to see it. I'm wretched just thinking about it. Now you have everything. You should stick the crayfish and potato inside the shell and take it to the range to cook. Because my nose hairs are bleaching. It's subtle clues like that which give it away. Okay, see you about. That thing stinks! We'll never eat that unless we do something to mask the smell. I have an idea though. One of Rolo's fellow merchants, Foppish Pierre, has been hanging around the mill. He carries a supply of spices on him all the time. If you can pickpocket those, then we'll be in business. So. Just go and grab those spices from Pierre and add them to the pie. Then you can take it up to Rolo and see if he swallows it. You there, Oik! I need your assistance! Oh, all right. How is it the gutter trash address each other? Eh, up. Appen is like I done lost myself a pretty penny. A thou seen tut salt shaker? When they are not just grunting and waving their arms, yes. Look, have you seen a little salt shaker full of spices around here? I'm ruined, ruined! me what is this this is not the scrumptious red berry and distressed quail pie I demanded Maybe he didn't torment the quails for as long as I specified. But whatever this is, it does smell delicious. Oh, really? Then I suppose I might try a portion. What is it called? Crayfish a la Mike? I can't say I've ever heard of a crayfish a la Mike before. To make up for not being able to make the pie I ordered. Well, that's quite nice of you. you tell the chef I will only sue him slightly for not making what I ordered. And that if this pie tastes nice, then I might even pay him for it. Thanks. What for? Yes, yes, that's all very well and good. Now be on your way, you jabbering fussel. I have a pie to eat.
A crayfish a la mind. Hey, let's see what it tastes like. certainly won't be causing any more trouble for a while. <laughs> don't, don't even talk about that. I'm still queasy from seeing what he did to the stairs as they carted him out. <laughs> they had to sluice them down with buckets and mops. Oh, terrible. But at least the stains are all gone now. Well, with Rolo out of the way, you can go up and steal the seal from his chest. We'd best move fast, in case he decides to send for it when he comes round. Is there anything else you need to know? Okay, see you about. I saw it. I, I saw all of it. You don't know. You'll never know what I saw. The colours. All the colours. And sometimes none of the colours. The darkness came to me then. With the stench. It protected my mind. But the darkness is still there. The smell, the, the, the smell of it will never, ever fade. A little ill? A little ill? The gods themselves wept tears of blood at the things he brought to light. Things that should never have been. No! Don't leave me! It will come back for me! Messenger, give me that note. 
What madness is this? He wants me to open the food stores for free? Is he demented? I... I have to contact some people. Leave me. Leave me to my despair. Don't interrupt my woe. <laughs> Ruined. Oh, woe is me. <sighs> First, I lose my spices, and then that blubbery whale, Rolo, goes and gives away all the food I could have used to buy some more. I'm going to starve in the gutter. My clothes taken by footpads, and my body heaped into a pauper's grave. Hmm. <laughs> Well, now you mention it. I know. I'll just stop paying my workers so much and drop the quality of the goods I sell. If I keep firing people and charging through the roof for my wares, I'll soon be back to normal. Thank you, uneducated and filthy stranger. You may have saved my life. Well, looks like we're done. I'll let the refugees know. We'll have a good old-fashioned feast. And it's all thanks to you. We'll raise a glass or two to you tonight. There is that. Hopefully the food situation will improve, unless someone else muscles in on the racket. Welcome. We are here because more than mere trolls threaten these lands. In the cave to the south, strange creatures of ooze are gathering. My companion Turiel is an expert on the slaying of unusual monsters and tasks adventurers to deal with them. Hello, and what are you after then? dead. He won't be making any more of these things. The ones that are left should be confined to the cave and won't pose a serious danger to Tavali. Indeed, there are many more mysteries in Gilinor deserving my attention, so I'll take my leave. I'm sure we'll meet again. Farewell.
sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Uh, can you come back later? The greatest power of the druids of Tavali is the summoning of powerful magical creatures from the spirit plane. Since time immemorial, we have used this power in our defense. And now we turn it towards the defense of Berthorpe. I can teach you, yes. If you want to know how to bring forth magical creatures from the ether, you've come to the right place. If you want to know how to bring forth ma- If you want to know how to bring forth ma- There is another world besides this one. That world is filled with wondrous creatures, great and small. Summoning is the art of drawing those creatures forth to serve you. By combining rare reagents with our spirit shards, you can create pouches to perform this act. Can I help you? Uh, well, I do have something you could look into, although I don't know if I would call it a quest as such. But if you do have some time free, could you look into the whereabouts of my two assistants, Skelectrix and Bowl of Tricks? Well, they're only slightly late compared to poor Felitrix. Actually, they are quite late, to be honest. I sent them out this morning to gather supplies, and they have not returned. It is a little... They were over by the old dry well in West Tavali, opposite the water mill. Could you take a look for me? Oh, I do hope so. Uh, thank you, my lass. And I'm stuck here. I'll never be able to jump the gap. What are we going to do? 
Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh, ow, my poor ankle. Here, have this rabbit sandwich. This will get you healed in no time. Oh, thanks. The only reward I have for you is this strange axe blade. I got it from this weird dwarf who lives up near the Death Plateau. I have no idea what it's for, but he refused to accept food without a fair trade. <laughs> More food come to us. Oh, what? Wolf bones think you're not gonna last long. Bestly not if we cut them into little bitty bites. There's a little puppy. Stupid human! We's been eating wolves for breakfast since we was tiny! We's not scared of them! Please hurry! It's risky. 
although with you assisting me, we might well do it. I sense deep wells of energy within you that you can tap. You might even survive. We are going to attempt a momentous feat of summoning. We are going to try and summon a giant Wolpertinger. A giant Wolpertinger is a legendary spirit creature that can generate an aura of fear so potent that even a horde of trolls will flee in terror at its approach. Usually, such a summoning would take a circle of experienced druids, but we have to clear out that horde before they attack. We will begin immediately. I need you to bring me a few things. I will need you to bring me my ancient wolfbone amulet, some white hair meat, and an embroidered pouch. I will also need to give you a blessed spirit shard and a grey charm. The amulet should be with my assistant, Sticklebricks. He took it to White Wolf Mountain, which is the large range to the west of Taverley. The hair meat is available from the pet shop, which is on the bottom floor of the building to the south of here. The pouch is lost somewhere upstairs. I managed to lose it in a rather violent kerfuffle. And of course, I have the last two items here when you are ready for them. I gave it to my assistant, Sticklebricks, when I sent him over to White Wolf Mountain to bring me some wolf fur. For luck, you know. Although now I come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. What day is it again? Uh, that means he's been gone about a week. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find him in good health. White Wolf Mountain is to the west of here. You will need to cross the river at the bridge to the southwest. I'd suggest taking some food. There are vicious wolves there. If you see one, then just run past it if you can. Well, best of luck in your hunt. How goes the... The pet shop owner in town has some. They import it for some of the more pampered pets. Although, to be honest, more of it ends up on the plates of pet owners than in doggy bowls. The pet shop is on the bottom floor of the building to the south of my house. I would go and get it myself, but since the birdseed incident, we are not on speaking terms. It's in my room upstairs somewhere. We lost it when Beazeltrick summoned that smoke devil. Oh, it was terrible. Really, truly terrible. I've never seen such... Carnage and devastation! We have managed to clean up all the glass and soot, but I couldn't find it. Obviously a fresh pair of eyes will do the trick. Oh, and if you find a foot up there, do let me know. There's a good lass. Oh, never mind. I remember where we found it now. Of course. Remember, these are extremely rare and precious, so I plead that you take good care of them. I hope you're right. These are very... Well...
He always knows how to get the best meat for the animals and ships it pre-skinned, boned and cut. White hair, basilisk, chinchompa, veal. Well, if it's an emergency, I suppose I can let you have some. I hope things work out for you. Is there anything else I can help you with? enough for me to enchant them to return to me if they were lost. So, imagine my surprise when I turn around and find them lying on my table. Save it. Take them back and try not to drop them this time. Well, best of luck in your hunt. I've heard about you is more than true. You've got everything right here. Now, before you go running off, let me do something. I have some spirit helpers that sometimes do tasks for me. In this case, I just ask them to make sure that these items will all return to me if they get lost or damaged.
Now, all you have to do is go and infuse them with the obelisk there. You won't have to worry about picking which pouch to make, as you know exactly what to make from these items. Well, you should come over here and let me inspect your work. You never know what could go wrong with such a monumental summoning effort like this one. Have you done it? Do you have the pouch? Oh, you are right. It has been pretty hard since the war started. It is a mixture of both, really. Oh, to be honest, I have always found that my assistants have had a lot of eagerness and a lot less common sense for self-preservation. Now, let me see. You already know about Stickle Bricks. Who else was there? There was poor Lunatrix, who went mad. He tried to commune with some elder spirits, and they were not happy. Last I saw of him, he went running out of the door with his pants on his head. Then there was Ashtrix. He managed to cut his own hand off, the poor fool. <laughs> it would have been all right, except he then managed to wedge a hacksaw in the stump, and in his delirium wouldn't let anyone help him. Then there was Spartrix, who was captured by the Black Knights and taken as a slave. I hear that he tried to lead a slave rebellion, which, while noble in itself, is not really the sort of thing a five-foot sickly bookish druid should do. Especially when unarmed and facing evil knights in full plate mail. Let's see, there was Beezletrix and the Smoke Devil. We literally lost Felitrix. Those trolls took the twins when they were healing soldiers on the front line. And the less said about Hastrix, the better. It has been one heck of a busy week, I can tell you. Now, is there anything else you need? Have you done it? Do you have the pouch? Phenomenal! I knew I sense great things in your future, my assistant. Come, let me see it. I had never thought we'd have needed one of these in my lifetime. Well done. I think you are ready. Take this to scale Electrix. With her help, you should be able to summon this spirit beast and rout the trolls. No, no. The energy needed to summon this beast is too much for just one person. Even with the pair of you, it will only last a few moments. But Scare Electrix is strong too. Between you both, you should be able to accomplish this. You're back. What's the news? A giant Wolpertinger pouch. I never thought I'd see one. With just the two of us, it'll be a stretch, and we'll only be able to summon it for a few seconds. But that might be all the time we need. It's the girly that had the wolf. We got some more druid meat for the big fight, lads. Yes, feel the true power of the druids. Ha ha ha! 
a big bunny that's not scary at all. <laughs> He's scaring me? Why is he scaring me? Leg it! It's gonna eat us all! He's messing with wolf meat brains! In my head, make it stop! Wolf bones need it, mummy! <laughs> yes, the Wolpertinger won't last long. In fact, there it goes. <laughs> Oh dear, I hope he's all right. Thank you both. I was a conference when you showed up. Well, she is the one who should be. Without her, we'd never been able to do that. Yes, thank you very much. Poor Sophie. She fell into the lake. She can't swim. No, we don't. I've been trying to throw a rope, but I can't throw it far enough. Are you mad? What if you hit her? I'm going to have to trust you. Here, take the rope. Just get my dear Sophie back to safety.
Are you all right? Mommy! Thank you so much. I found this shiny thing in the lake. It's for you. Nothing but meaningless chicanery. Herblore grants us the power we need to fight back the trolls. The knowledge is already within you. I will help you reveal it. Burthorpe needs every advantage it can get. And the power of herb law is quite an advantage. Would you like to learn its secrets? Every natural plant has powers locked within. Herb law is the art of unlocking those powers through potion making. You'll be able to brew potions to do just about anything. Most significantly, you can restore yourself when you feel depleted. No, my name is Kakumix. Kakumix. The emphasis is on the Q and the me. I can't understand how so many people get that wrong. Tell me, why are you trying not to laugh? The woods are in bloom. Maybe you have hay fever. I think we have a potion for that somewhere. What? Personally, no, of course I didn't. However, our forefathers did. The first druids of Guthix built many stone circles across these lands over 800 years ago. Unfortunately, we only know of two remaining, and of those, only one is usable by us. I have a worthwhile quest for you, actually. I have heard you have been quite instrumental in helping hold back the troll invasion. You are aware, are you not, that we worship Guthix, the god of balance. Guthix is the oldest and most powerful god in Gilinor. His existence is vital to this world. 
he is the god of balance and nature. He exists in the trees and the flowers, the water and the rocks. He is everywhere. His purpose is to ensure balance in everything in this world, and as such, we worship him. Well, anyway, we wish to contribute our strength to those soldiers who are fighting to protect us. However, Guthic sits in balance on the matter. All the omens show that he favours neither side more than the other, because on a global scale the trolls' chaos and disorder are relatively minor. In Tavoli, there is a herbalist, Sanfew. He is researching a potion we can offer to Guthix to bring our plight to his attention. The trolls represent disorder. For us, it is a major, immediate imbalance of the elements of harmony. But we need to call upon Guthix to write it with all haste. The potion is specifically called the Ointment of Imbalance. If it is applied to the stone, it will call Guthix's attention to our plight. Once he sees the chaos the trolls have brought, he will turn his power against them, and our star will once more be in the Ascendant. I would ask you, Hero, to go and help Sanfu with whatever he requests. With your help, I am sure we can create the potion and perform the ritual. Excellent. Go to the last house on this side of the riverbank to the south of Tavoli and speak to Sanfu, who is working on the potion for the ritual. He knows what is required to complete it, thanks to his studies. Mixing it up, just leave that to me. Now, let me see. What was it I needed again? Oh, I remember. I need you to get me a vial of untainted living water. Here, I'll even give you a vial as you seem to be lacking one. After that, you can get me some wandering wormwood. And while you're by the lake, you can catch me a stonefish and get some of the scales. It's said that there is a spring of living water. I've heard some trolls have gone and mucked about with it, but what we need is untainted by whatever modern hookum they have brought. Just take a vial and fill it up from that water source. That's all you need from there. Oh, well, I heard there is a patch of land on the southern shore of the lake to the south of Tavoli, where the ground is so fertile the plants can get up and walk. You can't really miss it because of, uh, you know, all the plants walk around. Wait until one of them gets up and walks off, then pluck some leaves off it. If you try it when it's still planted, it will not work, as it has to be from wandering, wandering wormwood. 
the magic in the lake to the south of Tavoli makes stonefish appear from time to time. The pebbles at the bottom of the lake just up and start swimming about, and before you know it, they've turned into a fish. They love gold, so go down there and bait a hook with a gold coin, and we'll be sure to catch one. I don't need the whole thing. Just scrape off some of the scales with a chisel and let it go free again. Well, thank you very much. So nice to see some polite young people around for a change.
Did you bring me the required ingredients for the potion? Whoa, that's the stuff. Well, now I think about it, you've got it all for me. Right, let's get this potion sorted then. There we go. Now take this back to Cake Mix at the Stone Circle and we'll be fixed up and ready. Gothics, Lord of Balance, hear us. In the name of all beasts and plants, from the humblest mouse to the mightiest of dragons, from the tiniest blade of grass to the tallest oak. What are you gabbling about, young cake mix? The ritual just calls for you pouring the ointment on the stone. Are you trying to put us all to sleep? Well, forgive me for trying to add it to gravity for the moment. Accept our sacrifice, Gothics. Witness our devotion. Well, did it work? that our prayers have been answered. Guthix's will has turned against the trolls. Well, this calls for a celebration. Oh, where's the mead? Don't forget, these notes must be exchanged at a bank for the real items before you can use them in your herb law studies. Until the next time we meet, may Sarah Domin be with you. I hear you've been keeping yourself busy in Taverley. I hope you haven't gone soft dealing with civilians. It's all trolls back on the front. If you're going to spend any time up on Death Platter, you need to be in tip-top condition. There's only one solution. A full workout routine. It'll improve your agility no end.
glad you could make it. I've been expecting you. I've heard you've been doing well repelling the trolls so far, but now we need you for something a little harder. The trolls have taken up a position on Death Plateau, and we can't move them. As you know, the trolls have been pushing us hard, and we have to do something before they get too dug in and begin sending forces down the pass. They have stone throwers lining the only path up there that we know about, and the only entrance is narrow and easy to hold. If I didn't know they were pretty much mindless animals, I would almost admire the position they've taken. Well, no. Sending you alone would be suicidal. What we need is to find another way up there. If we can find another route, then we can try and ambush them or just spy on their movements. There's a cave beyond the defensive wall to the northwest, at the foot of the plateau, where you'll find a dwarf called Sabbat. He's a surly old geezer, but a good ally. He and his wife were surveying the mountain before the trolls arrived. To get there, go northwest from here, then west past the tower and the ruined wall. Then turn north, and you can't miss it. If you go and speak to him, I'm sure that at the very least he'll be able to tell you another route up to the plateau. We really need you to help us, with some urgency. It will be dangerous, and you may have to face some combat. Can you do it? That's great news. May the gods grant you speed. Corporal Booth, Quartermaster Branch, I'm here to repurchase spoils of war. That means I'll buy the stuff you pick up. You already know how to cook and make armor. In that case, these trolls should be no match for you.
What are you off to, eh? Kiv? Kiv? This is no cave, you idiot. This is clearly the entrance hall to the trading post I'm going to set up with me wife once the trolls are gone. We're going to have some shelves over there and put the storeroom over there. I well blame the missus for that. The second the trolls came along, she packed all the tools up and moved into a fancy darn little cottage. But not me. I'm not shifting for some stupid trolls. It's them or me. And I'm winning so far. One day, they'll all be dead. Then I'll work this place into a proper little home and shop. Then who'll be laughing, eh? I heard that. No. No. No! I don't need you or your fancy tools. I'm a dwarf. If I can't do it on my own, then I might as well not bother. Do you think I'd be stuck in this hole, fighting trolls with me bare hands and teeth, eating moss and chipping the walls with a stone if I didn't think I could do it? Last them, and when me wife comes to her senses, she'll come back and we can set up together. Aye, we'll set up this little shop just like we planned. What are you after, eh? Kiv? Kiv? This is no cave, you idiot. This is clearly the entrance hall to the trading post I'm going to set up with me wife once the trolls are gone. We're going to have some shelves over there and put the storeroom over there. I well blame the missus for that. The second the trolls came along, she packed all the tools up and moved into a fancy darn little cottage. But not me. I'm not shifting for some stupid trolls. It's them or me. And I'm winning so far. One day, they'll all be dead. Then I'll work this place into a proper little home and shop. Then who'll be laughing, eh? I heard that. No. 
No. No. No! I don't need you or your fancy tools. I'm a dwarf. If I can't do it on my own, then I might as well not bother. Do you think I'd be stuck in this hole, fighting trolls with me bare hands and teeth, eating moss and chipping the walls with a stone if I didn't think I could do it? These trolls aren't going to beat me. I'm going to outlast them. And when me wife comes to her senses, she'll come back and we can set up together. I will set up this little shop just like we planned. And no trolls are going to stop us. Ambush the trolls, eh? That's an idea. First good one I've heard the guard have in a long while. But it's not my problem, so I suggest you take your fancy talk elsewhere. Well, try not to get in me way, because I'm not going to help you. Fine! Fine! <sighs> You're really not going to move, are you? All right, I'll help. If nothing else, I don't want you standing there watching us while I sleep. Well, if you want up there, you've got two choices. The first one is you can try the airy, fairy, lackluster, shoddy way, clambering over the rocks like some cross-eyed goat. Faffing around like a fool, scrambling about hand over hand, foot over foot. Nobody's meant to get around like that, man. It's demeaning. Ah, the proper way. Under the rocks. Had a way, man. The trolls might be thick, but they'll spot your cart and rubble out by the ton. No, what you need is to break into one of the natural caves under here. That'll sort you out. Then you can enjoy the wonderful sport of caving and potholing. Ah, the great feel of scrambling hand over foot through dark, dank passages. Bliss. Well, I didn't get much time to do anything but make some notes before the trolls came. I bet Frida had time to put them all together. She's a bit soft in the head from all the living on the surface, but still a canny lass when it comes to geology. You can't miss her place. It's a little house to the west of here. You just need to follow the only path in that direction and you'll get there. I don't know why she keeps to that place when we have a nice comfy cave right here we can turn into a proper home. It's you lot that I blame. All you gallivanting around on the surface has turned her head. Aye, see you later then. Watch your heed on the way out, mind. Hello? How can I help you? What do you want that for? Oh, he would go telling you that, the old duffer. There are some, 
But he doesn't understand that humans like you prefer running about and climbing over things instead of digging around. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. He's always hated it. Ever since I managed to get from Remington to Taverly <coughs> Overground, faster than he went underground. He tried going overground himself next time, slipped on some snow and ended up bashing his shoulder on a rock, bless him. Anyway, this survey. I can make a start on it after I get back from town, so you'll have to wait for me to be done with it. The survey we made is written in some very technical terms, and I'll need to dig out all the information for you. Well, I could, but I really need to get my climbing boots re-spiked. If I don't have that done, I might run into trouble if the weather turns. Oh, that sounds like a pretty good idea. You're on. I'll make a start while you go take care of this little job for me. Just go and see Dunstan. He knows how I like them. Good smith, that man. Well, for a human, obviously. In one of the houses to the east of Burthorpe Castle. His is the one in the middle. In fact, it would probably be quicker if you used the home teleport spell. It saves you running all the way there and then all the way back. Hey, these are Frida's boots. Where did you get them? Oh, I suppose so. There you go then. Here are your boots. You're all right. He'd not accept it anyway, the stubborn goat that he is.
Just try not to make a mess. Hey, watch it. You humans don't know how to mine cleanly at all, do you? Excuses, excuses. Hey, take these. Frida keeps sending us them. She knows I hate tomato. Those caves will likely be dangerous, and even if you make it to the other side, you'll face some trolls. So, either I leave them to start stinking up the cave, or you eat them. Either way is good with me. Other trolls say mean thing. Look, it's the stupid troll. He's so stupid, he eats the map. Then they all call me the map from then on. Then we is lost on this slope. We's got no food, we's got no map. So I ate everyone. Well, they were dead when I did it, so that's okay. Yes, some of them try and pretend to be alive still. But I am smart, troll. They know for me. Hey, is you dead? Just checking. I lost. Me and the lads, we was looking for a way down to human town. The boss, he say, you, 
You carry this map, eyes, mate, and go down to fight. Then I eat the map, and all the others get angry, and now I is lost. No, you is food, I eat you. <coughs> Can we use it to get onto the plateau itself? Ambush their reinforcements as they come through the choke point. I love it. We'll thin their numbers and give our troops on the front line some respite. Come, let's plan a little surprise for the trolls. You've done great work today. When you're ready, those archers will need some crates delivering to them. We have a number of reward lamps for you, if you want them. We have pinned them down thanks to the vantage point on the cliffs that you found. They can't reach us with rocks, nor climb up to attack. We can rain arrows down on them with impunity. Friend, we are indebted to you. You are right, citizen. The White Knights have taken advantage of the old and weak king. They control most of Asgarnia, including Falador, but they do not control Berthorpe. We are the Prince's elite troops. We keep Berthorpe secure. The White Knights have overlooked us until now. They're pouring money into their war against the Black Knights, so they're looking for an excuse to stop our funding. And I'm afraid they may have found it. If we cannot destroy the troll camp on Death Plateau, then the Imperial Guard will be disbanded, and Berthorpe will come under control of the White Knights. We cannot let this happen. Sarah Doman be with you, friend.
You've done so much for us. Sincerely, I thank you. In honour of your deeds, we want to name you a Knight of the Talon, one of the greatest defenders of Berthorpe. Today is a glorious day, for we welcome a hero into our ranks. Ceramic said that I'd be needed at Edgeville Monastery for a covert operation. I'd rather not discuss the mission further until the coast is clear. Thank <laughs> you. 